Hey, what's up? Hi, Avi. All right. All right. I what position do you take the position that killing predators is a deontic and consequential rights violation? Okay. As a general heuristic. Okay. Is it you is that like same thing true? Provide statistics and data for. It. Okay. And I would Can like I ask you, ask you Is that same thing true for um a the xenomorph that's gonna eat the humans? No. Oh, so you you take the view that the xenomorph that eats the humans is not committing a rights violation I, I, and it's not I'm a not, utility. I'm not. What what is the the xenomorph thing coming from? I, I literally just got here. Oh, let's say there's like this monster. Um, some people can show them in the chat what a xenomorph is. Um, let's say we have this monster that eats humans alive, right? Let's say we have this um, this being that has evolved alongside humans that. Is in a natural predator prey cycle with humans Eat, that captures humans and hunts humans and it eats humans alive right that would be self-defense to defend yourself from the xenomorph well let's say you're not let's say you're in a helicopter and it's not going to kill you let's say let's say you're in a helicopter it's not going to kill you it's not self-defense let's would you would you defend other humans so let's say you know the hypothetically it eats like 10 humans a day or something you're in a helicopter and you see the xenomorph and you have a sniper rifle. What do you do? I don't know what I'd do. You don't know? Just to be clear, if you don't kill the xenomorph, it's going to eat 10 humans alive in the just in the next day. Oh, um, that would make it a... Well, then that would also be a, a consequential loss and a deontic loss okay so then I would, then I would, yeah. would you would you kill it would you kill with a sniper rifle yes okay cool now you you're in a helicopter and you see a lion would you kill the lion with a sniper rifle no okay name the trait lions aren't massive threats to people Okay, so it's that they're massive threats to non-people. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I would like to clarify this before you cross-examine this point. Um, mm -hmm. to, to provide context, what I was saying about how the lion isn't as much of a threat is because there are metrics to take down a lion that are safe to humans that would not work on a xenomorph. And it's it's like... If, what do you mean? Can you clarify I'm, that? I'm you an it's like if a child is trying to stab me with a knife, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't need to kill it in order to save other people. If a xenomorph was coming at me with a knife, I would probably need a seriously big gun to kill it. <laughs> okay, say hypothetically the only way to prevent the lion from eating another sentient being is to kill it with a gun. Yes, but that also goes back to my point where I mentioned that my stance. Wait, I just get clarity? Wait, wait, wait. In that in that situation, just to be clear, in that hypothetical situation, you would kill the lion. Is that correct? Well, I would need to to be consistent. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, want to kill the lion. Okay, so what's, your, what's your so what's your plan for like what do you have like a different plan for the lions? Like, do you want to like sterilize them or give them birth control or something? Like, what's the what's your do you think? Are you just saying that there's another way to do it to prevent them from eating the prey? I'm, I'm sorry. My I need to fix my my volume. Can you give me like five seconds and then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna turn you up. I mean, it sounds like we already agree for the most part. I mean, but okay. But you would you agree that as a general heuristic, killing predators? would be a deontic and consequential violation? No. I, I think because you're probably that's... reducing deontic rights violations, and you're probably increasing utility. I think the opposite is true. 
I mean, these are beings that are going to go to other sentient beings and tear their flesh off. Well, my, my position is it would, in mo probably most cases, probably wouldn't be a, a consequential benefit, and then you'd still be doing the, the rights violation. And, and well, wait, why am I doing a rights violation? Well, don't you believe that sentient beings should have the right to life? Not if they're going to kill another sentient being. And the only way to stop them is to kill them. Like if okay, a being is like, let's say a human again, you agree to this. Like, like if a human is going to kill another human, right? And then the only, or looks like a, a xenomorph is going to kill a human or whatever. And the only pra pragmatic way to stop them is to kill them. Don't you think you should kill them? Do you think they have the right to life at that point? Uh, during that action, no. Yeah, so it's not a deontic rights violation. So what's why would it be a deontic rights violation in the lion case? Because the lion wouldn't be able to conceptualize what it's doing is wrong. And say the xenomorph wasn't able to conceptualize what it was doing is wrong, and it was going to just eat the humans alive anyway. Now is it? Now would you shoot the xenomorph? Probably. Would it be a deontic rights violation if you shot the xenomorph? Yes. You would, but you would do it anyway. Yes, I would think the the consequence would outweigh the rights violation in that okay. case. Okay, and then what about in the lion case? I think in the the lions, like in a in the hypothetical you gave me, I would agree. But I think in in like the world as it is now, I I don't think it actually would be consequential, because okay. then when you kill what what has historically happened when predators have been killed off, is it creates huge ramifications in the ecosystem and it ends up just creating a shit ton of more suffering like with kakapos or when you here in desert lands a lot of people will shoot coyotes and now javelinas are becoming a huge problem to people's crops and property and other things okay right? gotcha. more animals are dying as a result of yeah, yeah i understand where you're going with this yeah, yeah so let me ask you this would you first first consistency test would you say the same thing for humans so for example if there was a xenomorph yes. that was eating humans alive, would you say okay well wait a minute maybe i shouldn't kill the xenomorph because maybe this will lead to human overpopulation in this predator prey cycle maybe the humans will become overpopulated if i kill well, the xenomorph uh, i i would be fine with letting the xenomorph live if it was a consequentially better thing to let it live yeah well, uh, I, I understand. I, 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 well, that's just whoa, 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 whoa. But that's but that's bit baking it into the cake already. Like the question is, like we don't look. We we see that there are certain. We, the question is, we don't actually know of the full consequences. We don't know that. Um, we don't. There's no reason for us to believe that killing one xenomorph. And even if we're in, you're jumping to, to killing all of the predators, like as a policy, like we're just talking about like some, it would still justify killing some. Like, oh, look, I was only talking about some. some yeah, we're, I'm just giving you a hypothetical with one xenomorph and one lion. Like, you don't need to go and say like, oh, well, if we killed all the lions, then like that doesn't even address the hypothetical. I'm talking about one lion and one xenomorph. That that would be bad because the the male king lions. Those are the ones that survive and pass on their. I didn't even say if I didn't even say if it was a male one, but regardless, like if, like let's say it was the male xenomorph that passed on the lineage, like Agnac, look, yes or no for the xenomorph case, and if we had the same, and if and you know someone may say, oh maybe you know th there would be ten more humans in the world, you know maybe overpopulation may cause some suffering, you know would you let the xenomorph start eating humans alive now? Within the context you gave me, I would kill the xenomorph. Okay, same context. Lion. Some you have the same person yeah. screeching about overpopulation of the. Pre Do you kill the lion or not? In in the same context as the xenomorph, yes. Yeah. So what's the difference? Well, I was changing the context to make my view more clear. <laughs> Well, what's the difference? I'm that doesn't answer the question. So the question is, what's the difference? Why would you not kill the lion now? What, what do you think is different about my hypothetical and and 
in like the, the real, real world, world that, that you wouldn't kill the lion. I can do that. So lions, they're they play a very very big role in keeping other animals at a, a good population. And yeah, so let's say the xenomorph. Kind of well, what do you mean by good? Hold on, what do you mean by good population? Well, if if certain species become overpopulous, it kind of like fucks with the environment and all the other species it creates. Change. What do you mean fucks with the environment? Wait, fucks with the. What do you mean by that? Like it fucks with the okay, environment. Okay, so for example, here we have a bunch of people. The Spaniards they brought a bunch of horses, and those horses will go into the desert and rip up and eat plants differently than native camels here would. And it rips when when the horses eat. It causes a yeah. There's like, environmental. I get it. Yeah, yeah, but 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 hold on, Agnek. That's 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 a category error. Like the same thing is true. The thing is true of humans. Like humans cause environmental. Humans are the biggest cause of environmental harm. I know. But you said you would kill the xenomorph. That's keeping the human population in check. I said I would kill the xenomorph in the context you gave, but in the context of overpopulation, no, I wouldn't kill the xenomorph. Wait, hold on. It's humans Look, are. What do you care about? No, 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 Agnek. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Look, I asked why you cared about the overpopulation. You said because of environmental harm. Okay, it's accepted that human. I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make this more. I, I brought up the environment because I was making a, a consequential point, an about outcomes. Okay. okay. So how do you so so how do you know so how do you know wait look there's going to be that's also a category error there's going to be outcomes there's going to be utility drains on both sides if you let humans grow more if you, Agnek look if you let humans increase in their population size they will cause environmental harm arguably more so than if you let that's why can you, can you hold on stop for a second Agnek Agnek you're not listening Look, if you don't kill the xenomorph, more humans will be born. The human population will increase. When the human population increases, they will cause more harm to the environment than if you let the buffalo population increase or the gazelle population. Yeah. Now, if you're going to... So what basis are you going to say that you're going to kill the xenomorph and not the lion? If you're going to talk about consequences, what basis are you going to say that the consequences would be worse killing the lion than the xenomorph? If anything, all the data indicates the opposite, that it would be worse to kill the xenomorph than to kill the lion. If you're concerned with downstream environmental consequences, humans are the worst polluters. Okay, so then maybe it would just be better to just let the xenomorph just kill everyone. Yeah, so, you, uh, so your position is to let the xenomorph kill, just kill the humans. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Agnac. Yeah. So, but you see how ridiculous that is, though, right? I do, but I gave it an honest try. I know you gave it, but you agree that you, the position you've just given me is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, depending on your normative framework. But yeah, yeah. but but depending on you, even no, no, no. But even with your normative view, like you, on if you honestly introspect yourself, like you would agree that it's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Was that a yes or a no? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Does anyone else want to try to defend the lions? 